A new invention. The guillotine. Guillotine? Yeah. Sounds French. I love the French. Did you know that they invented mayonnaise? How bad could it be? It's French, eh? Hey? Why don't we try a good old-fashioned stoning, eh? I'd kill to be stoned right now. Gets the crowd involved, doesn't it? I should like to speak to Victor in disempowerment. I should like to speak to me. Uh, I'm not one to complain normally, but, but this basket's full of heads. Quiet! Quiet! Oh, praise to you. How about Shimmy Havasha? Now, you got this hour of temptation that is coming upon the world and you're gonna have to pick sides you're gonna have to go with uh yahweh bashim yahweh shah uh yahweh being the name of the heavenly father and yahweh shah being the name of his only begotten son who they ignorantly call jesus christ that's the side you're gonna have to go with to uh be saved from the hour of temptation and from the the uh, from the martyrdom possible martyrdom that's gonna be on the world or you can choose the beast these governments that's gonna try to mandate uh, their new form of slavery to tag the people and control the people like robots see that's going to be their mission because now they can feel the power of God according to uh, Ezekiel 28 this is their uh, their dream and their vision that they want to have the mind of God so in order to do that they're going to use this new money system this uh, uh digital way that you can buy and sell so let's get it real quick in the scriptures revelation 14 and 9 is in the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without measure into the cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So this is what the hour of temptation is going to consist of and so you got here oh uh, no revelations 12 verse 17 saying the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to wage war with the remnant of her seed see the remnant of the seed of the israelites of jacob's children who received the blessing from abraham and from Isaac they're gonna be tried and tested if they're gonna trust in their power or they're gonna trust in man you see because let's get 13 and 16 and say and he calls all both small and great he's gonna call everybody he's gonna try to force everybody through hunger let's get that in chapter 6 verse 8 it says and look the pale horse he is only one nation one nation of people that pale on earth and that nation it says and his name that sat upon him was death and hell and and hell followed with him and power was given unto them. See, this is a nation. Power is given unto the, the ruling people of this nation. 
over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and to kill with hunger. See, they're going to use hunger to tempt the people to over, to allow them to be God over them. But let's get Jeremiah 17. Because, see, when you thinking you're going to die from hunger, you're going to try to avoid that situation. Verse 5, thus says the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and made flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord. Okay, that's going to be the one choice. Then the second choice is going to be, Blessed is the man that, that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. So Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to be the hope of those blessed. And those curse is going to take this mark of the beast, this this uh, symbol of worship and of slavery that these governments is going to present to the world. So I just want to make that real quick. All praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Kakadash, double honor to the elders, pushing the true peace of the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.